What's going on, everybody? Uh, I never look at my hair until I get on Mental Monday, and I probably should have taken a shower this morning. Oh, well. Uh, I'm here. I'm going to bring information, whether my hair looks like crap or does not look like crap. As always, brought to you by Wrestling Mindset, WrestlingMindset.com. I gave away a shirt to, uh, I think, a nice lady named Dana Johnson won a shirt last week. I'm giving away, I have three more shirts to give away, so the next three weeks I'm going to give away shirts. So like this post for the chance to win the shirt. Like it if you think my hair is awesome too. <laughs> um, so one of the questions I've had recently, frequently, is, you know, how do you bounce back from injuries? Uh, you know, uh, or the kids hurt, having trouble coming back, or nervous, blah, 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 blah. Um, and you know what? Jordan Burroughs put up this fantastic tweet, and I think it ties in very well to this topic. And so I'm going to read you this tweet, and I want you to keep this in mind. Uh, and Jordan Burroughs said, and it's obviously this this can pertain to significantly more than injuries, but he said, Jordan Burroughs is very smart, P.S., he said, before competitions, there's so much emphasis on being sharp. You beat yourself up if your technique isn't crisp, but I've realized you're not always going to feel good. Sometimes effort tops technique. You can't always wrestle your best, but you can always wrestle your hardest. Uh, so that that's fantastic advice from Jordan. And I, I hear that so many times when it's, oh, so-and-so, is not, he's not looking good today. Listen, you're not always going to look good. There's just those days. If you've competed long enough, there's just, just those days you feel like dog crap. You, none of your technique is crisp, your back hurts, your knee hurts, you, you don't feel good, but guess what? There's still going to be a competition, there's still going to be a winner or a loser, and you have the ability to determine that outcome. But what a lot of kids do to themselves at that point, and I think a lot of it comes from the parents, what a lot of kids do at that point is, ah, oh, they use that as an excuse, they use it as a crutch, well... Uh, why'd you lose? Oh man, my knee was hurt today. Oh, I just was. I was feeling tired. This was right. As if, as if sometime, some somehow, that their injury, illness, sickness, soreness, not crispness, gives more validity to their loss. It doesn't. You still lost. Sorry. Okay. And so you know, almost when when parents talk about this stuff, it it almost adds to the kids. Um, feelings that they're they're right with you know having an excuse for their loss that that's okay that that's a valid reason not a valid reason it's not and you know someone actually asked me this question i did a seminar in baltimore last weekend uh, i'm trying to remember the exact the question had something to do like this and i and i said listen the, the one thing i ask out of my kids every single time every single time the one thing i ask i ask that you give me your best effort if you give me great effort i will not be disappointed i will be happy we're going to have some stuff to work on, but I ask that you give me your best effort. And so when a kid can control that, they can control whether they give a great effort or not. When they can control that, um, we're, we're both going to be happy with the, with the outcome. And then eventually, if you give me enough effort over enough time, you're going to get good. And through AWA, you've, if you're paying attention close enough, you've seen a lot of those kids. They give a lot of effort. They give a lot of effort. They're not very good. Matter of fact, maybe they're really bad. And then eventually they'd be good. And you're like, wow, how did that kid get good? He was terrible. Well, because he kept giving a lot of effort over a lot of time. So how does all of this tie into injuries? Well, in, in my opinion, you know, what people always focus on is the winning and losing. And so when a kid's coming back from an injury, um, you know, they kind of, ex they expect themselves and because I think their parents put this in their head, their parents expect them to be the same person they were before the injury. And you're just not going to be, okay? It's going to take a while. You're going to feel, and the longer you're out, the worse you're going to feel. You know, if you're out for six months, you're probably going to feel like crap for three weeks to a month. You're not going to feel like the same wrestler. But that's okay. That's part of the process. And so, you know, when these kids are out for extended periods of time and someone expects them to jump in and be the same person they were before the injury right away, that's a terrible expectation to have. And so... um you know, when kids are coming back, generally, I, you know, I don't want to say baby them, right? You got to know the kid. You got to know what to say to the specific kid. But, um, you know, protect them. Tell them, hey, listen, you know, I just want you to go as hard as you can today. If it starts bothering you, why don't you pull back a little bit? I don't want you to re-injure it. And, and tell them those kind of things so that they, they know, that they know that you're not expecting them to be the same guy they were before the injury. 
and, and that they, they do have a little bit of time to, to get better, to feel better, to be healthy. Okay, you're not gonna let them milk it forever, but you know, having a kid who comes back from injury and think they're gonna be you know hundred percent ready to go right off the bat, it's totally unrealistic. Totally unrealistic. So um, you know, and then obviously I would hold them out of if if it's my choice, and it's not always my choice, but if it's my choice, I would um I would even hold them back from competition for a while. So right if they're coming back, we'll just throw out dates. Let's May 14. May 14 they're cleared to start going live. I'm not gonna go compete them on May 20. I'm just that's stupid. They're not they're not gonna be ready, they're not gonna be the same person. I'm going to um I'm going to let them practice for a few weeks and then maybe in June I'm going to have them come back and start wrestling. Um, and so I think, I think that's uh, really, really, really important to have the expectations be proper when the kid comes back. And then, you know, I obviously I take that back to something I always say. And so I'm going to read this Jordan Burst quote one more time for you because it, it's genius. He says a lot of good things. You guys should probably follow him on social media. Very smart guy. Before competitions, there's so much emphasis on being sharp. You beat yourself up. And your technique is not crisp. But I've realized you're not always going to feel good. Sometimes effort tops technique. I'm going to not say sometimes. I'm going to say always. Always effort tops technique. You can't always wrestle your best, but you can always wrestle your hardest. Okay? And so when we're, when we're dealing with injuries and coming back, um, have proper expectations to what you're going to feel like because you're not going to feel as good as you were before your injury. You're going to feel kind of crappy, and that's that's fine. That's part of the process. You're going to have to get through that point to get to the point where you are feeling good, crisp, and happy again. So that's all I got for you guys. Um, having a fantastic care Monday. Hope you guys, my wife's watching this in the room. She had a fantastic Mother's Day, <laughs> I think. I um, hope your mothers had a fantastic mother day. I hope you told them thank you. Uh, mothers are the best, obviously. And let's see what we got. Tommy and I just did a podcast last night. We were talking about the World Team Trials, Beat the Streets. There's so much going on this week, so much awesome wrestling. Obviously, we got Northern Plains also. And Josh Wagner is getting married. Congrats, Josh. Pump for your wedding. And that's all I got. Hi, John Renan. How's it going? I will catch you guys Next Monday, peace.